Hey guys, how's it going? It's Puneet here from Gentech and today I'll be doing a setup of this HP PhotoSmart series printer. It's a B209A printer. So what I did in my last video is I resetted this printer and after reset uh, it needs to be connected to the PC. So what I'll be doing today is uh, downloading the uh, driver from the HP website because I don't have a DVD myself. So if you don't have a DVD or you misplace it, you can do it this way. So you just have to go to the HP uh, website and uh, download the driver. And after that, just follow the steps. So that's what I'll be showing you today. Okay, so there just uh, type in the printer name and here the first link is the correct one. You can see it's for B209A all-in-one printer. So click on the download button there and uh, it should download the file in your download folder on the PC. Once the file is uh, downloaded, um, click on the file and um, well, after clicking, it should extract uh, all the f necessary files for the uh, installation program to, ins to be installed. And uh, just click install here and uh, it should take you to, yeah, click next. And I reviewed, uh, accepted all the terms and conditions. Next, and it will just show the HP setup guide of do not connect the USB first, unpack it properly, how to power up, um, how to change the language and region, um, wireless setup, how to insert the ink, apply ink label and etc. aligning the page and etc. So just we watch this and then click yes. So now the next step is to connect. So here I'm choosing the wireless connection but uh, this printer will not connect wirelessly because from the printer itself you cannot put in the wireless um, network. So it says, yeah, I cannot um, check it. So here basically we have to, at the first setup, we have to connect via the wire that comes with it. Um, and here it shows that uh, it's been detected. So after that, what we can do here is a, uh, we found our network, click on the network and uh, click next. And uh, here uh, they're asking for the network key. So basically the password of the network, just type in and click next as well. So now it's trying to connect to the printer. Here it should find your printer. You shouldn't have a problem with it. If not, then you can run the diagnostic or a troubleshooting page. Here is just communicating with the print, uh, the network. Do you want a test report? If you want, you can print it. Otherwise, I don't really want it. It should be fine. Here it's just trying to communicate with the modem. But uh, it looks like it gives the error here. The UDP port should be allowed at 427. Um, so you just have to unblock it in your uh, firewall. You can search it on Google. There's so many videos to do that. So eventually at the end, uh, just disconnect your PC as well as your um, printer and click finish. So now I have uh, finished the process, but when I click on uh, HP Solution Center, it shows that my um, printer is uh, disconnected and it's not connected to my uh, Wi-Fi or it's not foundable. So what I did is rebooted the PC as well as the printer. Now when I double click on it after rebooting, uh, you can see it's connected. So which is great, it's, it's all green and I can see my uh, ink on the right. Um, which are low um, at the moment and which is not, but still it's not a lot, it's a lot of detail. So what you can do is go on network setting and it will open up a page. And um, basically you can just type in the printer IP address. It can give you much more detailed information about the printer, about the inks, and uh, also about the user report here. You can see 2093 pages. So guys, yeah, that was it. So that's how you set up your, uh, PC and your um, HP printer uh, for the smart series. 
and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below i'll try my best to answer them if in case you are having any issues if you like the video and want to get notified of more tech news and reviews and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, give it a thumbs up as well and uh, hope to see you next time thank you